how do you maintain craft and fart booting stamp to that console tipping G munchen these are sports craft swivels these are very very well made mechanisms heavy heavy duty this is good stuff and the pivot point is offset from the center and what that does for you is it prevents your chairs from hitting the door as it spins it's going to spin into the cabin schmott but we want to know what schmott the directions are in german german The battery for the chassis is right under this floor, right here. Now you have to disconnect the chassis battery first before you do anything else to the van. If you have the secondary battery up front under the hood, this battery gets disconnected first, the chassis battery. Now deep under there, you've got a little disconnect. I'm going to take you down and show you. I know you love that. Here we go. I'm going to take you under there to show you the disconnect for the battery. Oh. See that little red button up there? That little red button. You press the button, you pull that off. That's a ground stud. So you don't have to take this whole floor apart. Certain vans have this and others don't. This is a 2017, so it's got it. Don't you love that? But, so I don't have to take this floor out in order to shut down this battery, but I'm going to do it anyway just to show you the steps that are involved. But then I'll put it all back together and I'll be able to just pull that stud right there. And you take off this little trim piece. See this? This is all you have to take off and then this floor mat comes out. It's a form-fitted mat. It's pretty cool. It's padded on the back. This is your battery compartment. But these are all Torx. That doesn't look right. That looks too small. Now these screws don't have to come out. You could just loosen them if you want because it's a, a slotted that one popped right out. You don't want to lose these screws either. They could fall down into the battery well and then you've got a whole nother problem. But see that? There's your battery. And the way the chassis battery works, the first side you take off is the negative side. First the negative, block off that, then you take the positive off. This positive's got a whole lot of ugly stuff going on. It's just not a terminal. Uh, so it's it's that easy to get this battery out or disconnected rather. But as I said, I'm going to pull my stud. So let's go over what I said. Um, before you do anything electrical, you're going to be pulling plugs. The first thing you do is you take the key out of the ignition. <clears throat> if the key has been in the ignition, you take the key out. Now you got to wait at least five minutes for the systems to do their thing and shut down. Key out, wait five minutes, then you disconnect your chassis battery before any other battery. And when, when disconnecting the chassis battery, disconnect the negative and then the positive if you want to remove the battery. But in order to work on the van, you just have to disconnect the negative. And in certain vans, it's a matter of simply pulling that, that ground stud underneath here next to the gas pedal, which is what I'm going to do now. And then we'll move on to the battery that's under the hood. So here's that little red ground stud. This is how you disconnect the chassis battery. Here's your brake pedal. Here's your gas pedal. So this gives you an idea of the orientation of where this thing is. It's just above 
and to the right of the gas pedal. And you press down, press that little red button down, and then you pull this off. See that? Now it's disconnected. Now just make sure this thing is, I loop it underneath the gas pedal so it's out of the way. Nothing's going to touch that. This is what you have to worry about, not that. That's just the ground. But this goes directly to the chassis battery that we just had the cover off of. So now we go up front and we do the same thing with the uh, extra battery under the hood, which is not your starter battery. Your starter battery is underneath here, but what I call the chassis battery. The one up front is the house battery. Kabish. All right, now, when you're under the hood, working on any battery, you notice the red always has a cover on it, the positive. Always has a cover. You don't ever want to put tools on the top of the battery. What I do for safety, besides never putting tools on top of the battery, I always put a rubber cover, vinyl cover of some sort. So all you got to do in here is remove the ground from this this is the how I call it the house battery. This is not the starter battery. This is a second battery. All right, you take that off, and then you make sure that's not going to slip back onto that. Now the van's dead, and we can start removing the seats. We're going to start with the passenger seat. The first thing you do is slide it forward so you can get out these bolts. Now these are Torx bits or stars, whatever you want to call them. But I told you that early on I got a set on, on Amazon because I knew I was going to need them for this job. So I got those and I got a little handset for small work. Anyway, Starcraft swivel seats. The first thing they tell you to do is to loosen the base bolts that are on the floor. Now I can imagine they want to do that so you've got some torsional forgiveness when you try to line up the bolts on their system. I have seen some videos where these bolts don't always line up. They didn't drill them right, so they ask you to fix the drilling. So I'm not going to loosen those bolts until I come to a point where I need to. If I have that problem, then I'll come back and loosen them up. Another little tip I'm going to give you for some of you. You know, when you're wrenching on these cars like this, uh, some of these bolts are really tight at the factory and first thing you're going to do is you're going to you're going to break free on a, on a hold and you're going to smash your knuckles. So one thing I would suggest is to wear gloves whenever you're wrenching. The other thing is when a bolt seems to be too hard to, to loosen, you need to get leverage on your side. So get yourself what you call a breaker bar. You put that on the end of your wrench and it gives you more leverage because now your fulcrum point changes and it's easy. Work like a gentleman. See? See how nice that came out? Still got some Loctite on there so I can't figure it out. Anyway, I'm taking these out and I already checked. I did not see any wires. I didn't even see a passenger seatbelt wire. Interesting. And when you're taking these bolts out, you could do one of two things. You can throw them into a little cup, which I don't have here now. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, or put them back in the hole if that's practical. Let them live where they belong. That serves a multitude of purposes. You don't lose the bolt. You don't damage the bolt or the threads. It keeps your thread chase clean. So I'm going to go get my, my little yellow uh, nut bucket. You should always have a nut bucket. Carefully slide the seat back until you have access to the front bolts. Now I'll bring you around there and you watch that. So you come to the front and you loosen the fronts and you take them out. Come on, Ron, how long is this bolt? There's four bolts that hold this seat to the base. Just those four bolts. And when we put them back in, we're going to torque those to 20 pounds. If you have a torque wrench, use it. Go to 20 pounds when you tighten. If you don't have a torque, torque wrench, just tighten them down as best you can without breaking them. But don't leave them too loose either. 
Now there's another thing I noticed that some of the other instructionals did not talk about. S these seat belts are mounted to the seat. Now if you're going to swivel that seat, that means this belt's going to swivel around with you and you know that sometimes they lock. But the StarCraft gives you a provision to relocate this seat belt anchor point to the base of the new swivel. So what you do is you just pop off the cover, get that in there. See, this might have been one that you do first before you loosen the seat from its base. But no big deal, catastrophe averted. You take that baby out and this seat belt is going to get relocated. As soon as I get it out of here. Okay, we're going to take a little break while I struggle with this. Go make yourself another cup of coffee. That's it. Got to be very careful with those seats. So, this is the seat box. On the passenger side, there's nothing in it. Uh, if you wanted another battery, now as I said, the chassis battery is under the driver's floor. The battery under the hood is considered a house battery. You could put a second house battery in here and you send your wiring through here and you tie it all in on the, on the driver's seat. Wait to see what's under this driver's seat. It looks like the, the inside guts of Predator. But this one, a lot of people put the, uh, the S-Bar Airtronic heater in here and they put the, the blower, you know, you've seen that. There's an old expression, mama didn't raise no dummy. Before I take those bolts out of this carriage, I'm taking this one out. Remember the trouble we had on the other side? Like I said, mama didn't raise no dummy. Another little tip, you see what I just did? Don't put tools on your seats. You never know what could happen. You could make a nice cut, then you got a, a new unnecessary problem to worry about. So, don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Keep the tools off the seats. Keep your battery terminals covered and protected, right? Take that screw. Everything goes in the nut bucket. Where's your nut bucket? Okay, see how easy that is? That's gonna go in a new spot over there. Now, we can get these bolts. Pull this socket off. Put this socket back on. Now we know the procedure is the same, except before you remove all the seat bolts, get underneath and unplug these wires. There's a seat belt sensor wire. So I'll show you those. Uh, I'm taking these front ones out first, and we'll go back and we'll take care of that wire situation and, uh, and then we can remove this seat. So the front two bolts are out, the seat belt's out. We slide the seat forward and we're getting ready to do these rear bolts. But like I said, see? See this wire? See how nice they make that for you? We gotta unplug that. It's right here. This thing comes out but the wire is very easy, it's right here. Now, there's a number of ways you can get this wire disconnected. Uh, with a little tweak, you can do that, okay? You wanna keep track of this. Now remember, this comes out, see that? Look at the guts. Look at everything that's in here. You don't wanna mess around with this stuff, but you also wanna keep track of these wires because when you come to the new swivel mechanism, this has got to go back in through the swivel hole and reconnect. What I do is I put a little piece of tape around here and that way I know what it is and where it's going. This is the only wire that I can see that we had to worry about. See? You get these four bolts out, you've disconnected your wire and this seat comes right off. Look at all this stuff that's in here. Isn't this cool? 
I love looking behind doors and panels and stuff to see what's in there. I don't know what any of this does. I'm going to have to figure it out though. Little by little, I'm going to know every square inch of this van.